हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द टॉपिक बीटी कॉटन जेनेटिकली मॉडिफाइड कॉटन बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव कंप्लीटेड एम एस एग्रीकल्चर विथ स्पेशलाइज इकोनॉमी फ्रॉम जी पी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंतनगर इन नाइनटीन सो लेट्स मूव टू द प्रेजेंटेशन नाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज बीटी कॉटन बीटी कॉटन इज ए जेनेटिकली मॉडिफाइड ऑर्गेनिज्म जीएमओ और जेनेटिकली मॉडिफाइड पेस्ट रेजिस्टेंट प्लांट कॉटन वैरायटी व्हिच प्रोड्यूसेस एन इंसेक्टिसाइड और टॉक्सिक सब्सटेंसेस टू कम्बेट बॉलवर्म अटैक इन कॉटन क्रॉप दिस इज ए जेनेटिकली इंजीनियर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ नेचुरल कॉटन द मेन एडवांटेज ऑफ यूटिलाइजिंग बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इन एग्रीकल्चर आर द पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ इंक्रीज इन प्रोडक्टिविटी थ्रू द यूज ऑफ न्यूअर वेराइटीज दैट प्रोसेस properties such as resistance to pests of these measures imparting the property of insect specific resistance through the transfer of a gene from bacteria vesselis thuringiensis bt into target plants by modern biotech methods is presently considered to be one of the most advanced applications of biotechnology now what is genetic engineering genetic engineering is the technique by which heritable material which does not usually occur nor will occur naturally in the organism or cell concerned generated outside the organism or the cell is inserted into the said cell or organism it refers to the formation of new combinations of genetic material by incorporation of a cell into a host cell where they occur naturally self cloning as well as modification of an organism or in a cell by deletion or removal of parts of the heritable material in case of bt cotton the toxic protein substances are incorporated in cotton plants which works against bollworm attack now to understand why bt cotton incorporated and what was the need the cotton bollworm complex in india includes the old world bollworm or false american bollworm which is known as helicorpa armigera another bollworms like pink bollworm pectinophora gossypiella a spotted bollworm irieris vitella and a spiny bollworm irieris insulena these are the bollworm groups which affect the cotton crop in a disastrous way all these belongs to insect order lepidoptera another insect species tobacco caterpillar which is known as aspidoptera lituera which is also belonging to the lepidoptera family and this is a sporadic pest on cotton and attacks cotton balls and acquire to cause damage when there is a severe outbreak among the cotton pest bollworms helicorpa armigera is the most dominant and difficult to control mainly due to its widespread insecticide resistance multivoltine and prolific pattern of breeding and high polyphagy in nature it is a highly destructive and wasteful feeder in the sense that a single larva can damage many squares and balls so there is huge loss to the farmers in case of attack with helicorpa armigera helicorpa armigera has a wide distribution but is it is limited to the old world like countries europe asia russia africa australia and pacific islands this species does not occur in america the species found in the americas are helicorpa g and Heliotis virescens popularly called bollworm and tobacco budworm Here we have shown the some pictures representing false american bollworm attack and pink bollworm attack how they are entering to the balls and damaging and making the loss to the crop So these are the disastrous pests in case of cotton crop Chemical insecticides are used extensively on cotton crop for control of insect pests especially bollworms the number of sprays per crop season may vary from 5 to 20 or more depending upon the attack it is estimated that insecticides worth about rupees 30 billion are spent annually in indian agriculture of which 60 billion are spent for the control of cotton pests and 12 billion against ball worms alone in terms of volume about 50% of the total insecticides 
used in Indian agriculture are spread on cotton crop. Means cotton is contributing about 50% of total insecticide usage in our country. This indicates the economic importance of ballworm in general and Helicorpa armigera in particular. Despite such huge efforts, ballworm control has not been generally satisfactory mainly because a pest like Helicorpa armigera has developed resistance to most of the currently recommended insecticides. Nevertheless, farmers continue to use insecticides repeatedly as they have no option except to spray or pray to the god. This had frustrated the farmers, scientists and policy makers alike. In such cases, BT cotton came at a time when they were desperately looking for an alternative and dependable control measures and now availability of BT cotton has given a great comfort to the farmers to get the high yields compared to non-BT crop. In case of cotton cultivation, there are four species which are cultivable like Gossypium hirsutum which is known as American cotton, then Gossypium barbadens which is known as wild cotton, then Gossypium herbaceum and Gossypium arboreum. The main cultivable species is Gossypium hirsutum. In case of quality, fiber yield and quality plays an important role in textile industry and there are bioengineered fibers which are also uh, providing the support to the cotton crop and its usage in textile industry. Major cotton producing countries are like China, India, USA, Pakistan, Uzbekistan, Turkey, Brazil, Greece, Argentina and Egypt. Then major cotton producing states in India which are playing important role like Maharashtra is number one. Then Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, these are the major states which are uh, playing important role in contribution to the cotton production. Then Punjab, Haryana, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan are also contributing significantly. India is world number second producer and exporter of cotton after China. Cotton crop is playing a great role in contributing India's white gold revolution. In our country, BT cotton is contributing about 95% of total cotton cultivable area based on last 9 years. India's production has been doubled with BT cotton and India became the world number 2 exporter and producer after China. India's BT cotton success is a result of partnership between farmers, seed and biotech companies, agriculture universities and academia trade, government policies, some NGO and news media. To produce BT cotton, the bacteria Bacillus thuringiensis was used. Bacillus thuringiensis is a soil born bacterium which is toxic to insect pests and safe to higher animals. It is widely used as a bacterial insecticide. Cry genes from the bacteria determine the action against pests. In India, the first approval to BT cotton were given to three hybrids released by Myco Monsanto Biotech MMB, the joint venture between Myco and Monsanto in 2002. These hybrids contained the BT gene Cry 1 AC owned by the US firm Monsanto, which licensed the gene to MMB Myco Monsanto Biotech in India. In 2006, the regulator Genetic Engineering Approval Committee GEAC also approved three other genes construct, MMB's Bolgar 2, which extracts Cry 1 AC and Cry 2 AB genes. A modified Cry 1 AC gene developed by IIT Kharagpur in collaboration with JK Seeds, and a fusion Cry 1 AC and Cry 1 AB gene sourced by Nath Seeds from the Chinese Academy of Agriculture Sciences. So, these genes were used to incorporate the BT cotton in cotton crop. Here we have shown the list of countries which are using different versions of BT cotton traits which is commercialized for control of wallworms or lepidopteran insects. In India we are using 6 BT version traits like Bolgard BG1 from Myco Monsanto Biotech, second is Bolgard 2 which is BG version 2 from Myco Monsanto Biotech, third is Fusion Gene from Nath Seeds, fourth is Cry1 AC Gene from JK Seeds. 
Fifth is Bitigen from Central Institute of Cotton Research, which is the subsidiary of Indian Council of Agriculture Research, Government of India Enterprise. And after that, Cry 1 C Gene from Metahelix. In Brazil, Bolgard 1 is used. In Australia, there is use of Bolgard, which was phased out in 2002-2003 and under use Bolgard 2. Then USA, it is used Bolgard and it was discontinued after 2009 then now under use Bolgard 2 and wide strike from Doegro science. In South Africa there is use of VT version Bolgard and in China it is used Bolgard and CAS Bitigen which is China Academy of Agriculture Sciences contribution. Now we will study about chronology of BT cotton development in India. On March 10th 1995 Department of Biotechnology of the Government of India permits import of 100 grams of transgenic Cocker 312 variety of cotton seed cultivated in the United States by Mahigo Company. This variety contained the Cry 1 AC gene from the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis. In April 1998, Monsanto Mahigo tie up was there in India. Monsanto given permission for a small trials of BT cotton. 100 gram per trial by Department of Biotechnology. On November 28, 1998, thousands of farmers occupied and burned down BT cotton trial fields in Karnataka as part of Operation Cremation Monsanto. Again on January 6, 1999, Bandana Siva Research Foundation for Science, Technology and Ecology goes to the Supreme Court challenging the illegality of the field trials authorized by the Directorate of Biotechnology. In July 2000, Mahiko allowed to conduct large-scale field trials including seed production at 40 sites in 6 states. The permission was granted based on the totally confidential data from the small trials that allowed regulators to infer that BT cotton was safe. The Directorate of Biotechnology set up committee to independently monitor and evaluate large-scale field trials. On January 5, 2001, a 10-member delegation comprising U.S. judges and scientists met Supreme Court Chief Justice A.S. Anand to educate him and other members of the judiciary on biotechnology related to BT cotton. On June 18, 2001, there was an open dialogue held between Monsanto and Greenpeace, which is an internationally non-government organization, to discuss BT cotton with scientists, Ministry of Environment representatives and farmers. No data on field trials was presented, though farmers vociferously demanded BT cotton be commercialized. Technical questions and concerns raised by Greenpeace remain unanswered at that time. On June 19, 2001, Genetic Engineering Approval Committee GES extends field trials of BT cotton. By another year, Mahiko conducts large-scale trials on 100 hectares in seven states. In October 2001, Mahiko discovers commercial BT cotton farming over several thousand hectares in Gujarat, which was produced illegally. Source of the cotton is traced back to now, Bharat Seeds Private Limited, which belongs to Gujarat from Ahmedabad, and they had produced illegally BT cotton. Again, in October 2001, GEAC orders BT cotton fields to be burnt in Gujarat. No action taken after farmers' protest order. On November 28, 2001, Jin Campaign files a case in the Delhi High Court charging the government with negligence in allowing large-scale field trials to be conducted without appropriate monitoring, regulation and safety precautions. On January 23, 2002, Dr. Manju Sarma, which is Secretary of Directorate of Biotechnology, declares that the latest round of BT cotton trials were satisfactory and that is up to the GEAC and Ministry of Environment to decide on a date of commercial release. On February 20th, 2002, the Indian Council of Agriculture Research ICR submits a positive report to the Ministry of Environment on the field trials of BT cotton. It was now expected that the 
जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग एंड अप्रूवल कमेटी जी एस सी ऑफ द इन्वायरमेंट मिनिस्ट्री विल अप्रूव कमर्शियल यूज ऑफ बीटी कॉटन विद इन ए मंथ आफ्टर सो लॉन्ग प्रोसीडिंग्स एंड फेज वाज अप्रूवल फॉर कमर्शियल कल्टिवेशन द जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग अप्रूवल कमेटी जी एस सी आफ्टर थर्टी टू मीटिंग हेल्ड इन मार्च ट्वेंटी सिक्स टू थाउजेंड टू मेड द लैंडमार्क डिसीजन ऑफ अप्रूविंग कल्टिवेशन ऑफ बी टी कॉटन इन इंडिया थ्री हाइब्रिड्स एम ई सी एच वन सिक्सटी टू बी टी एम ई सी एच वन एटी फोर बी टी एंड एम ई सी एच ट्वेल्व बी टी वर अप्रूवड फॉर कल्टिवेशन विद द एस्टिपुलेशन दैट सर्टन कंडीशंस बी मेड दिज हाइब्रिड्स वर हाई इल्डिंग एंड प्रोड्यूस मीडियम लॉन्ग टू लॉन्ग स्टेबल फाइबर द जी ई सी आल्सो अप्रूवड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ सीड सब्सिक्वेंटली सीड फॉर कल्टिवेटिंग वन लाख एकर्स वॉज अवेलेबल फॉर प्लांटिंग बाई इंडियन फार्मर्स द सीड वॉज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन द स्टेट्स ऑफ महाराष्ट्र मध्य प्रदेश कर्नाटका आंध्र प्रदेश गुजरात एंड तमिलनाडु इन द करीब टू थाउजेंड टू प्लांटिंग सीड नाउ टू स्टडी द एग्रोनॉमिक बेनिफिट्स ऑफ बीटी कॉटन कल्टिवेशन द ट्रायल्स कंडक्टेड इन सेवरल लोकेशंस इन ईयर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी एट डिफरेंट इकोनॉमिक बेनिफिट्स ऑफ बीटी कॉटन कल्टिवेशन लाइक गुड कंट्रोल ऑफ बलवर्म स्पीसीज इन डिफरेंट ग्रोइंग एरियाज सिग्निफिकेंटली हायर इल्ड एंड बॉल रिटेंशन कैपेसिटी इन बीटी कॉटन कंपेयर टू कंट्रोल प्लॉट और नॉन बीटी कॉटन क्रॉप देर वॉज रिडक्शन इन एक्सपेंस ऑफ इंसेक्टिसाइड एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज द बीटी कॉटन टेक्नोलॉजी इज वर्किंग अगेंस्ट दिस बॉल वॉर्म सो देर वॉज लेस नेसेसिटी लेस रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ स्प्रे ऑफ इंसेक्टिसाइड देन देर वॉज एडिशनल रेवेन्यू इन फार्मिंग कप ऑफ फार्मर्स कंपेयर टू नॉन बीटी कॉटन देन नो एडवर्स इफेक्ट ऑन नॉन टारगेट इंसेक्ट्स और एडजस्टेंट नॉन बीटी कॉटन फील्ड्स विच आर ग्रोन साइड बाई साइड ऑफ बीटी कॉटन फील्ड्स एंड देर वॉज कंजर्वेशन ऑफ बेनिफिशियल इंसेक्ट्स पैरासाइट्स एंड प्रिडेटर्स एज बीटी कॉटन इज वर्किंग ओनली अगेंस्ट बॉलवर्म्स देन बीटी कॉटन ऑल्सो इंड्यूसेस अर्लीनेस इट हैज बीन ऑब्जर्व दैट द बीटी कॉटन आर अर्ली इन मेच्योरिटी कंपेयर टू नॉन बीटी काउंटर पार्ट्स देन देर वॉज रिडक्शन इन इन्वायरमेंटल पॉल्यूशन सो दीज आर द सम बेनिफिट्स विच वर रिपोर्टेड बिकॉज ऑफ बीटी कॉटन कल्टिवेशन Here we have shown the picture which represents the Bt transformation to cotton crop. There were bacteria, Bacillus thuringiensis, where the DNA extraction and it was isolated, and cloning and designing genes were separated and it was transformed to cells and tissue of cotton plants. And by the genetic engineering methods, it was inserted and introduced to cotton crop. So it was converted to Bt cotton by induction of Bacillus thuringiensis gene toxic substances or protein synthetes. Now to understand how Bt works and what is the mode of action of Bacillus thuringiensis bacteria. In case of Bt cotton, the Bt spores and Bt crystalline toxin substances are incorporated to cotton plants. And when the caterpillar or bollworms is feeding to the cotton crop. there are bt spores and bt crystalline toxins are entered to the larva body within minutes the toxin binds to a specific receptors in the gut wall of the larva and caterpillars stops feeding within hours the gut wall of larva breaks down which allows the spores and normal gut bacteria to enter the body cavity of larva and the toxic substances are dissolved in larva body in 1 to 2 days the caterpillar dies from septicemia as spores and gut bacteria proliferate in its blood and cause toxic substances because of which the larva gets dead so this is the mechanism by which we are controlling the bollworms species which feeds the bt cotton till now we studied about bt technology relates to insecticidal property where bt cotton protects crop and controls bollworms but now turn to study the second type of bt technology which relates to herbicidal control and this technology known as 
राउंड ऑफ रेडी फ्लेक्स आर आर एफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन कॉटन दिस आर आर एफ टेक्नोलॉजी कंटेंस सी पी फोर ई पी एस पी एस जीन विच इज डिराइव फ्रॉम सोयल बैक्टीरियम एग्रो बैक्टीरियम टू फिशियंस विच प्रोड्यूसेस मोडिफाइड प्रोटीन दैट अलाउ द प्लान टू टोलरेट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ग्लाइफोसेट हर्बिसाइड विच इज ए नॉन सेलेक्टिव हर्बिसाइड दस वाइल्ड फार्मर्स कैन नॉट स्प्रे ग्लाइफोसेट इन नॉर्मल कॉटन इज द केमिकल कैन नॉट डिस्टिंग बिटवीन वीड्स इन द क्रॉप इट सेल्फ बट नाउ इन केस ऑफ राउंड ऑफ रेडी फ्लैक्स द कॉटन क्रॉप इज इनकॉर्पोरेटेड विथ जीन वेयर वी कैन स्प्रे द राउंड ऑफ केमिकल विच विल किल द वीड्स नॉट द ओरिजिनल प्लांट्स ऑफ कॉटन सो दिस टेक्नोलॉजी विल प्रूव बेनिफिशियल टू कंट्रोल द वीड्स इन केस ऑफ कॉटन कल्टिवेशन दिस टेक्नोलॉजी इज टिल नाउ नॉट परमिटेड इन अंडर रिसर्च वेन द बीटी कॉटन वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड देर वर सम कंसर्न विच वर काजिंग लॉट ऑफ डिस्प्यूट्स अमॉन्ग फार्मर्स एंड इंस्टीट्यूशंस लाइक दिस जेनेटिक प्यूरिटी एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ बीटी टॉक्सिन इन द प्लांट ड्यूरेशन ऑफ टॉक्सिन प्रोडक्शन इन द प्लांट होमोजाइगस और हेट्रोजाइगस कंडीशन ऑफ बिटीजिन इन द हाइब्रिड आफ्टर दैट डी एन ए फिंगर प्रिंटिंग ऑफ जीनोटाइप्स आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ मार्कर्स ऑफ इंडिविजुअल इवेंट्स फॉर जेनेटिक प्यूरिटी टेस्ट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन लेवल ऑफ अदर इवेंट्स नीड अ स्पेशल अटेंशन फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म हार्नेसिंग ऑफ द बेनिफिट्स कन्फर्ड एंड द सस्टेनेबिलिटी ऑफ दिस प्रोमिजिंग टेक्नोलॉजी सो दीज वर सम कंसर्न विच वर रेस्ड while the introduction of bt cotton now to study the benefits of bt cotton bt cotton has several advantages over non bt cotton the important advantages are like increase in yield protection from boll worms reduction in pesticide use reduction in cost of cultivation because of less insecticidal chemical spray reduction in environmental pollution then genetic resistance this technology is proven for long time and its action against boll worms will continue and there will be no breakdown and it will take long time for resistance development then eco friendly no adverse effect on parasites predators and beneficial insects and no health hazards and this technology also includes earliness it has been assured that bt cotton sar early in maturity is compared to non bt and the earliness ranges from 20 to 30 days in different cotton hybrids tested in india which shall facilitate timely sowing of wheat in northern region then good fiber quality which is having the medium to long staple length then good ball retention capacity and proper bursting and uniform quality so these are the some important advantages over non bt cultivation now we'll study about final conclusion about bt cultivation bt cotton is undoubtedly the most extensively studied cotton variety today rigorous scientific studies conducted in india and abroad demonstrate that bt cotton and its products are safe for environment humans animals and agriculture in fact the use of bt cotton is a positive step towards environmental protection because it makes possible the reduction of the insecticide load in the environment and reduces handling of such chemicals by farmers this reduced use of insecticides will enhance the effectiveness of biological controls and implementation of integrated pest management programs the higher farm income absorbed in the experiments has now been demonstrated by the large scale use of bt cotton by indian farmers and the incorporation of the gene is proving an effective and environmentally friendly plant protection tool resulting in greater cultivation of bt cotton in coming years the cotton trade is looking forward to the productivity and quality benefits of bt cotton seed efforts were being made to incorporate another gene bolgard 2 to improve efficacy and postpone possible resistance problems as newer products are approved in the regulatory system it is likely that farmer will have greater choice to plant hybrids according to market quality requirements in coming days 
so this was all about bt cotton so this presentation was all about bt cotton which is genetically modified cotton hope this presentation is very very helpful to all of you now my presentation ends here thank you very much i have given here my youtube channel details and having request please visit the channel subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback for further improvements in next presentations thank you